What's up, YouTube? This your main man, AB the Hero, back again with a, another video. And today we got a preview tomorrow's game, BC Vitotas versus Zukia. All right. Um, before we get into this, I want to say, man, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, hit that button, hit the bell so you can get these good notifications. And let's get into So tomorrow's game, BC Vitotas versus Zukia will take place 12, 15 p.m. Eastern time. So that's 15 minutes past noon. Sometimes I know how that p.m. can confuse some of y'all. But the fight continues as we'll see here. Um, this is a huge game. This is a big game for them. I'm going to tell you why. Because as we know, within the LKL, we've talked about this. The last place team goes through something called um, regulation. And right now, Vitotas is in position to be regulated down to the NKL, which is Lithuania's basically B-League. All right. Now, what makes this game extra important is because um, Vitotas' last game versus Nivius um, they thought they were gaining ground because Nivius, as we see here, is the ninth place team. But Nivius went out and got a win versus a team that they should have definitely lost to. So the plan was beat Nivius, they'll lose the next game, we win this game versus Zukia, and then we're just one game behind them. Nivia, um, Nivius going to get that W versus, I want to say, Lick the Bells. Um, allow them to stay three games ahead of um, Vitota. So right now, the pressure is extra, extra on in this game versus um, Zukia to get the W. All right. Um, here we go. So we see, and they had a convincing win, 99-87, Nivius did versus Lick the Bell. So this is one of those things where this is why they play the games because – after Nivius loses to the last place team, you would assume that um, going up against Lick the Bells, who was a top four team right now, that it was an ultimate, uh, auto, automatic L, and they were able to come away with the W there. So this game here will be a, a huge game. Um, last and last, Vitotas has played Zukia before, right? And so the last time these two teams met, it was a pretty close game, 82 to 79. Um, I don't know if you remember, but this was the game where it, it got kind of out of hand for a while. And Seskis, towards the end, put five guys out there and kind of let them close the game out. And they almost, almost pulled it out. Um, it was a, it was a, it was a nail biter for sure. Let me see. All right. So in, in that game, um, I want to say. The, the sucky thing is I don't think Melo played at all any of this game. He didn't play, but Jello had a pretty good um, outing. 26 minutes, um, 2 for 4 from 3-point land, 50%, 44% from the um, 2-point land. But he wasn't in, and this was a kind of a controversial game too because he was not one of the few players in, in at the end there. So with, when, with all of the tension that was happening out there in Lithuania for jello and Melo not to be on the court and then them to kind of close that huge gap and end of this game obviously added to that tension uh there's a couple guys from zukia who had some pretty good outings we'll kind of talk about those i think the leading score for zukia was a dude named jim i shouldn't even have said it because i can't even pronounce it jimendez zalias uh uh, Parrish Petty, an American, he had a pretty good game, 15 points, um, 8 rebounds, 4 assists. They all kind of showed up. Uh, I want to say it might have been the guy who we just seen right there with the step. Yeah, that was the dude who hit Mello with a, I mean, Jello with a little wop, wop, wop before halftime. Uh, definitely came to play. This was after the game where Vitotas had just got their first W with the Ball Brothers on the squad. So then they were coming out here to hopefully get another one. And, and it didn't go their way. So so that, so hopefully 
So so you can see as this last game was pretty close. Um, this one will be pretty close as well. In the last five games now, this this is a little bit interesting here. Vitotas is coming off a W from their last game. Um, and Zukia hasn't won a game since they beat Vitota. So it's really about who's going to show up, right? Are you going to see a defeated Zukia team shows up who's been on a four-game losing streak? And or are you going to see a Vitotas team who just got a W, who were riding high, who's going to show up and, and put and put Zukia away? Interesting thing is in their last five games, they have some similar opponents outside of them two playing themselves which is obviously the best um, way to measure who's potentially going to win this game. So in the last five opponents, both teams have played Raitas, and then both teams have played Lick the Bells. And neither one of those games, the, the game Vitotas versus Raitas was a blowout. Um, Zukia versus Raitas was a little bit closer, but it was still a comfortable win. Lick the Bells versus Zukia, pretty much a blowout versus... Um, Vitotas Lick the Bells was a it, it wasn't a close game, but it wasn't as bad as the Zukia game. And this is also to my point I was making earlier. This 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 team Lick the Bells pretty much handled Vitotas and then gave up a L uh, a win and then went ahead and lost to um, Nivius in the next game handedly. So you really got to show up and, 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 and play these games so we can see who's going to be the W. This is a hard one to to really say they've got a W here on this one here. But let's take a look at this. Let's dig into some of the routes there. As you can see, uh, um, Zukia's got a couple American players on their squad. Um, Perry Petty, uh, who went to San Francisco University. You got Charles Callison, Washington State. Um, Alan Wiggins, I don't know if he's related to Andrew. I was trying to check that up, but I couldn't see it. And then also this guy who played at West Texas A&M, uh, the youngest player on the team, Martinez Povicia. Um, I want to say he's only played one game with them so far and uh, versus, but I'm not sure. And, and, and I think he might be a player who's on loan from Zalvers' junior team, if I remember correctly. But so let's go through some of these guys here. So you got, like I said, um, Perry Petty here, who was the dude who hit, who was was trying to go at Jello's life during that last game. Uh, had a, had a pretty decent outing. Like I said, 15 points. Um, not the leading score, but definitely somebody who to look for tomorrow to show up and try to have another really good game. Um, right now, the leading score for. Um, Zukia is Paul Petrius. This guy here, number 14. Um, we'll see. Only 11 points a game. I, the, the, the scoring over there is so crazy. If you look at the, the average, they only average 74 points a game. So you're not going to have anybody with a 20 who are averaging 20 points a game. So, so based on like American standards, when I look at the the average or the leaders of scoring on the team, and somebody's at eleven, it's not super impressive. But when you're averaging seven seventy four points a game, eleven, I guess that's decent. I'm looking for a twenty pointer or somebody who's gonna stand out like that. Um, but you know, that, that's not what we have here. So, like I said, tomorrow's game I feel like it'll be a close one. What I would expect to see, and also you can come back here to the LKL website and, and they'll stream it here, right here in this section where it says broadcast will be where you'll be able to check the game out. I think what we'll see tomorrow is um, Seskis already came out and he said that, yo, um, he likes Jello at about 18 minutes, felt like, feels like that's going to be um so we'll probably see him around uh, about 18 minutes tomorrow i feel like he's been hot though and and i know that i'm the dude who i'm saying yo you need to tighten up that rotation which he said he was going to do he was saying that he might even work around a seven man rotation for tomorrow's game i feel like if you really 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 want to win that that is not a bad idea um i would like to see obviously bristol Zulkowskis, 
I think Jello should be in that seven man rotation. Um and uh Young Seskis has, has been playing some pretty decent ball. Broda is some pretty decent ball. Sensica has got to be in that rotation. Um, so we'll see. I, I believe that this will be a, a pretty close game. I think that both teams are going to come out and honestly really give it everything they have here because, for one, Zukia just on the fact of who wants to lose to the last place team in the league? Nobody, right? And then for Vitotas, this is a big deal because you don't want to get bumped down to the LKL. And then when you think about this even deeper, you see a lot of these dudes are fighting for a position. If for some reason Vitotas makes it to that ninth place spot or if they do not get relegated, all of these guys are going to want to come back and play again in the LKL next year or maybe go to a different team. And as you know, if your resume is, you know, you were on a team that got relegated down to the um, NKL. That's not a, a great look for your resume. So I feel like a lot of these folks are going to come out tomorrow. They're going to put their best foot forward, and it's going to be a, a legitimate game. So tune in. I'm going to try to get up. I'm going to try to watch this. Man, If if I, we're going to try to have the live stream going. So then we'll watch the game, have some live commentary here. Um, so tune in tomorrow, man. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, hit the bell and uh, let me know what you think, man. I, I'm trying a different streaming setup this time. Typically, I stream with my, I've been streaming with my DSLR or a mirrorless camera, technically my G G85. But I wanted to try the actual webcam, and I don't know if I like it, but uh, it's a little bit easier to set up as far as managing audio and everything out of the camera when you do with the uh, the Panasonic. You have to have different devices and all of these things working in order to get that off the ground. So I'm not sure, man. Let's see what we got here on the other side. All right. So we got Kid Max, man. BBB, keep it going, man. Salute to you as well. Uh, let me see how many folks we got in here, man. If y'all in here right now, go ahead and check in. Let me know who out here. We checking the stream out live, and uh, let me know who y'all think gonna get the W tomorrow, or go ahead and give me a, a stat line. Who do you think? Uh, how many points your boy Jello gonna gonna score? I I want to say it is going to be interesting to see how many, if any, minutes that your boy Melo touched tomorrow. Um, after the last game, they said that he had a back injury, which was the reason why he didn't play as much. And so we'll see after sitting out an entire game. Maybe that back is healed up. Maybe we'll see him in here. Um, I think that there is when the thing I was talking about, when you do limit that lineup a little bit, if you got somebody cold. You got to be prepared to throw somebody in there. And if you got guys who haven't played and been sitting on the bench for a little bit of a minute, um, they could come in cold themselves. So we'll see. Should be a decent game. Uh, let me know in the comments who you think gonna get the W, how many points you think Melo Jello them gonna have, and uh, check in with me tomorrow, man. We'll try to catch the live stream of tomorrow's game. All right, but it's your main man, AB the Hero. I'm out. Peace.